Numerical Method, Chapter 5, Video 8. We'll look at an example using Newton's method to find approximations to some quantity. So here's the problem. I want to find a numerical method to compute square root of a. a is just some value. Um, using only plus minus um, multiply and divide the four arithmetic operations and test your method for a equal to 3. So it was a, just a fancy um, description of the problem. Actually, you see that square root of a is a root for the function, a quadratic polynomial that is x squared minus a. So we can just throw in Newton's method for finding roots for this function. So the Newton iteration will be the following. x k plus 1 will be x k minus f of x k over f prime of x k. Plug in your actual function f, which is x k squared minus a, f prime is 2 x k, and with a little bit simplification, you see this term over that term will be half of that, so subtracted you get x k over 2 plus a over 2 x k. Now let's test this on a equal to 3. We know square root of 3 is approximately 1.7 something, so let's choose an initial guess to be a good one because that's important. Newton's method converges if your initial guess is good. So x0, let's choose to be 1.7. We will now run some iterations. So x0 is 1.7 and we listed the arrow on the right, which is about 7. 0.2 times 10 to the negative 2, and I run one iteration. I put x0 to be 1.7 and computed x1. It gives me 1.7324, and the error is about 3 times 10 to the negative 4. And I do one more iteration, and I get 1.7321, and then the error is now in the magnitude of 10 to the negative 8. And if I do one more iteration, I cannot see the difference with my eye, just counting these decimal places. But I can check the arrow, and now it's 10 to the negative 16. So I would like to draw your attention to this extremely fast convergence. You see, this is a typical quadratic convergence in action. See, your initial arrow is 10 to the negative 2. You iterate it once, the next arrow is this guy, square in magnitude, so you get 10 to the negative 4. And one more iteration, the arrow is this guy, squared, so it's 10 to the negative 8. And then one more iteration is this guy, squared, which is 10 to the negative 16. So if Newton's method converges, if your initial guess is a good one, it converges in 3 to 5 iterations. No more than that. So recall the example we had earlier with fixed point iteration, which took 25 iterations. Now you know. That's a shame. You don't need to do that. So here's a sample code. And you will be asked to do a Newton coding in the homework. So you can use this as a starting point. Okay. So um, you initial uh, you send in the initial guess, then um, total maximum number of iteration, that's your tolerance. So you're setting your initial guess and set the counter to be zero, that's the counter for number of iterations. And that's your dx, which is the, in the Newton's iteration, the step f of x over dx, f prime of x. And then here's your y loop, and that's your arrow tolerance. You see we did a combination. And then you increase the iteration by one, and you do your Newton step. And then you prepare this value for the next Newton step. So once the while loop is finished, since you have a dx with you already, and then you will do x minus dx to get an even more accurate solution. Okay. So I hope that was useful and you enjoyed it and see you next time.